Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Mario 64 DS. Hey, they're coming back here. Let's chase after that mysterious boo that has suddenly showed up behind here now that we've defeated Bowser. We can get into the basement, but I don't want to go to the basement. I want to come out here. There's a f small little pool of water out here, but there's also a boo. Now, boos will hide away if you stare at them. However, if you stare away from them, they will then begin to move towards you, and you then have to get behind them and attack them. The best way to do that, I find, is backflipping, and then I tend to just stomp on them. Because there, you can actually attack them from the front. And welcome to Big Boo's Haunt. This is the only level... Well, two things. Firstly, this is the only level that has its own piece of music. Every other level has music that appears in at least one other level. The second thing is that this is the only level that Yoshi cannot go in. So, I don't know why Yoshi can't kill the boos. I get that it's a reference to Super Mario World. Ghosts don't die! <laughs> Can you get out of here alive? Yeah, Yoshi can't go into the ghost houses in Super Mario World, and I guess that's what this is about. Doesn't really explain Yoshi's Island, where we're uh, surrounded by boos in some levels. Yeah, it's going to come up with that every single time you kill a boo. It's really annoying. <laughs> it's like, okay, I get it. You can just program it so I only show up on the first boo. Besides, if ghosts don't die, ugh, if ghosts don't die, what am I doing? Oh, look at that piano. It's a very nice piano. Ah! Oh my god! The piano is attacking me! It's a killer piano! And that's famous for its jump scares. I think it only goes so far. I don't think it'll actually attack you if you stand right up. Anyway, the books are also alive. You can jump on them. It's really hard to do, but you can jump on all the things that are being tossed towards you, or at least the books. And normally, I'd be able to just go through this painting, but because this is the DS version, Mario doesn't gain access to the Vanish Cap, so instead I have this, which is pointless. Luckily, it hit ground pound and you can stop. There are red coins up there. I'm not going after the red coins for this one. Big Boost Horn is actually a fairly easy level to get the uh, 100 coin mission in because every boo you kill gives you a blue coin. As I think to these massive eyeball things. So it's really easy to get 100 coins provided you select one of the first two missions. Anything after that is going to be a bit more difficult. If doable. The uh, simple way of defeating the eye things, make sure that it's actually got its eye on you. Uh, you have got to get pretty close to it. I find it only works when the pupil is on screen. Otherwise it doesn't tend to work. Right, because I've come in here, it's, yeah, so uh, then you just have to spin around it really close. Try not to hit it because they do hurt and they will occasionally shoot a projectile at you. And then it will start spinning out of control and then just disappear. It's fine here, but there's some really annoyingly placed ones in later levels. Yeah. Otherwise, I would not, if I was playing the original version, I could use the Vanish Cap and just go straight through that wall. However, I am not playing it. Nor have I got. The, nor have I even been to the level that has the Vanish Cap available. Here comes the Master of Mischief, the Titan of Terror, the Big Boo. So it's annoying that I have to keep going out the back, around here, because this is a very big house. So how's there a background here, though? It's like, where? I'm in a tiny cage that was inside a boo. Where the, where's Peach's castle gone? Oh, well, now we got a big boo. How do I kill him? Simple. You just do the exact same thing you've done for all the other boos. It's just you have to do this one three times. I've to see a lot of these guys, by the way. They uh, couldn't think of anything else you could really do in this level. So who are you going to call? Super Mario. And that is the first of our big boom missions. So, so I think there's like three of them. And it's all the same thing. At, at least one of them doesn't have you going on like a ghost hunting spree, but... Even so, there's a red coin in that boo. 
which is unique to DS. There was no uh, red coin mission in Peach's Castle, but there is now. Ride Big Boo's merry-go-round. Later. We'll get there. Now it's time to go after the hundred coin missions. So all of the red coins are located inside the mansion. At least I think that's what I'm doing, or did I decide to go after the red coins first? I can't remember. That door is pointless. You can get up here doing mission one with a very well-timed triple jump. Am I even doing the 100 coins? I might be going after Luigi. I can't remember what order I did everything in. This was a while ago. Okay, so these bookshelves will shoot books out at you. You've got to make sure you hit the right one in the right order. So it's center, right, left. Unfortunately, trying to actually be able to do that is pretty difficult. Because uh, Mario tends to... Uh, his hitbox is still active for a bit, so I tend to hit the one on the left when I don't intend to. Actually, where am I going? What is on the other side of this door? Yeah, or we could just grab this one. It's been a while, I can't remember what order I did all of this in now. The Secret of the Haunted Books. So yeah, uh, this is also the level where we can get a certain new character. A new face is going to be appearing in this episode. Who's it going to be? Oh, we could probably take a wild guess. Who is? Which Mario character is often associated with ghosts? I know this was before that, but uh, there's also the DS version. For you see, L is real in Super Mario 64 DS. Or whatever they, whatever everybody interpreted that thing as saying. This is the wrong way. <laughs> This is me trying to find the way back. Wrong door! Let's see what's behind door number three. Or door number four. It's also the wrong door. Door number five. This is the correct door. So. It's a bit of an awkwardly timed wall jump if you're playing the original version. However, we're playing Super Mario 64 DS, so I can just do this. Yeah, that is quite a tricky wall jump to do in the original. But look! A painting of Luigi. Fascinating. Look! What was that? If you don't like repetitive noises, because you're going to be hearing that laugh a lot. Anyway, this one's all about trying to find the correct door. If there's a background when you open the door, you have taken the correct door. I think Boo's laugh does get louder if you're towards the correct door. This is also a really annoying one when it comes to the one to the um, red coin mission. They're all over the place, but uh, you can gain, you can get seven out of eight of them. But the very last one requires Wario. So that's what. So you're not going to know about that until the end, which is what happened to me. <laughs> so I'm going to be collecting seven out of eight of them, and then wondering, where can I get the last one? Oh, uh, it requires Wario. And we're not going to be seeing Wario for a long time. There's a hidden platform in the middle of that platform, <laughs> a, a pit, whatever you want to call it, the floor. Luckily you can't die if you fall down here, it just sends you back to the beginning. So yeah, just listen out for his laugh and make sure you go in the right way. Otherwise it's going to keep sending you back to the start. But yeah, that's not going to kill you, it just sends you back here. This was the right door. In the end, process of elimination. <laughs> if one doesn't work, try the other. So when that happens, it didn't work. Unfortunately, I don't think it always brings you out to the same door. Well, it might do. I'm not sure. I kept taking the wrong door here. Oh, he gets so annoying there. Eh? 
Like, somebody shut this boo up! He's getting on my nerves! And I don't mean the scary kind of way, I mean he is just getting so annoying! <laughs> Take the door, yes you do! And it's the wrong door! There is a second star here. I can't get either star yet. You need Luigi to get the other one. So take a, and, uh, well, since we're not going to rescue Luigi until the end of this, we can't get that one yet either. Such a waste of time! Alright, we're in here. You can actually long jump. I don't know if the... Uh, Point out the uh, red coins in the other rooms. Gives you a hint though. You can, it does showcase the red, the final red coin. Says which door it's on, which door you gotta go through. So many boos. Kind of makes you wish that the uh, hundred coin mission carried over into the stage, but it doesn't. So there's no reward for getting a hundred coins here. So annoying. Whose idea was this? I mean, I get this supposed to be like to hint whether or not you're going the right way because you can visibly get here and getting quieter when you're going the wrong way, but even so. It's like, who decided that you needed to do it this often? I preferred him in Luigi's Mansion. Yep, yeah, our final one is behind there, so a waste of time. And then a long collapsible bridge. There we go. However, we cannot go straight into the painting. Only Luigi can do that. Unfortunately, I completely then forgot to come back in here. So we're not actually going to be getting any stars in here at the moment. Oh well. Yeah. Can't accomplish anything over there. I don't know why I'm killing the booze. It's just wasting time now. I take out my frustration on all of you. Why is that fat man the one who the one who has the super strength? I am I am capable of lifting Bowser up by his tail. Why can I not break through these black blocks? Oh god, not again. Yeah, you can still see it on the map. <laughs> okay, you can long jump over here. Just to power anyway. It's good thing these things keep coming back. Alright, let's go. Yeah, Mario is perfectly capable of picking up Bowser by his tail and swing him, swinging him around. You're telling me that he can't break these blocks, but he's perfectly capable of smashing blocks by knocking his head on them? I don't even have a small form in this game. I am permanently Super Mario. I could become Mega Mario, but I'm permanently Super Mario. Fall down here. And then it's a bit picky on trying to get this thing to activate. I think it's like a mat you've got to run around a bit and then it's like a trick of the camera or something. Come on, there we go. What? Luigi? Yeah. I am Big Boo, the spookiest of all the spirits. I locked up the wimpy green moustached man and I'll do the same to you. Oh, not again! So is this a... Uh, wait, so is this a separate continuity to Luigi's Mansion? Ah, ha, ha. Since I am a ghost, I can turn invisible in the mirror's reflection. You have to attack me from behind to defeat me. Why do you all just give away your weaknesses? And you'll die of fright before that ever happens, and then you'll be one of us. This is what happens every time someone dies. Okay, so for this one, for some reason he still casts a shadow. 
So for this part, you have to just use the trick of the mirror, and then he does actually show up. So now he'll show up in the actual thing. But I do like the uh, the effects of the mirror, how it is Luigi. Okay, so this is this part's nothing new, and then he goes back into the thing. Right Third verse, same as the first. Luckily, his shadow gives away his location. Ah, you can never really kill a ghost. We always come back. See you again. Ah, and then you get a key. See, Mario could do some ghost busting as well. It's just not as impressive. If only, if only he could get rid of the booze that easily in Luigi's Mansion. That's the Big Boo battle. Not King Boo, Big Boo. Even though he looks like King Boo, and he's got a crown like King Boo. That was lucky. <laughs> Look, he didn't hurt me. Just like, yeah, actually, you are facing away from the Boo when you come out there. Alright, but now we can go back up here. And open up, yes, another door. Where... As the color and the L tells us, on the other side, it's Luigi! You rescued Luigi. Now he can pummel enemies with panache. You have now unlocked the I win button. <laughs> well, not the I win button, but you have now won the game. So there will be green caps in the courses now. As Luigi, you can run over water and slip through wire fencing with agility. So Luigi can run on water for a little bit, not much, but he can do for a little bit. His traction is no different than Mario in this game, this isn't like Lost Levels or Mario 2. He gets a higher jump, he can backflip incredibly high and then gets this spinning manoeuvre. So Luigi is incredibly broken. Luigi is the best character in this game by a long shot. He gains access to the Vanish Cap. He just can still punch like Mario. He can't wall jump, which is odd, but uh, aside from that, he is incredibly broken with how high his backflip goes and how far you can get thanks to that, uh, that spinning maneuver. He also, despite the fact that that is pretty sure that was a callback to Luigi's Mansion, he isn't afraid of the ghosts in any way. But yeah, you've totally won now. Luigi is the best. Wario is the worst. I'm not afraid of you, piano. Kind of wish that you could. Uh, what? What am I saying? I think it's, it's just it's like a weaker version of Yoshi's fluster jump, but at the same time, he jumps higher than Yoshi. So I'm not really sure if there's actually that much difference in it. So now Luigi has activated the Vanish Cap. Only by using a flower instead, you can go through certain paintings and certain walls. So yeah, all the boos are still here, even though I think I selected Mission 2. Am I still not going after the 100 coin mission then? I don't remember what it is I'm doing here. But uh, yeah, one thing I didn't think about doing is going back into that previous area to get one of the power stars. Oh well. And you get over here. You don't even need to backflip. You can just do the ground pound as long as you're facing away from them. I wish boots were this easy to get rid of in the other games. But uh. I don't even think you can get rid of them in Sunshine. Maybe Yoshi can? I thought I should just turn them into platforms. They look really freaking ugly in Sunshine. I mean, the boost design is a strange one that I'm really not sure how I feel about. Just because it's, it's like the eyebrows. The eye, it just looks like he's got butt cheeks above his eyes. You know, they're, they're not intimidating in the slightest. The, the only time they've ever looked mildly intimidating is maybe King Boo in Luigi's Mansion. 
But that's it. Otherwise, these guys do not look terrifying at all. And they have what has to be the stupidest weakness in existence. Yeah. Like, why, why do they hide away when you look at them? So the sound of the the sound of the piano was played, but the piano itself didn't move. Let's go in here now. Am I going after the red coins, or am I going after the red coins and the hundred coins? Yeah. Oh, nothing up here. Ow! Just a load of deadly books. Ow! to know what these books are. <laughs> but I can't think of any famous ghost stories off the top of my head. Is it the Muppets? The Mupp why the Muppet? Why did I say the Muppet? Is it, is it a Christmas Carol? Because when I think that when I think of Christmas Carol, I think the Muppets Christmas Carol, <laughs> the film I haven't watched for. I don't know, nearly 20 years. I don't know why I said the Muppets, but I mean, it works, doesn't it? It's still it's still uh, a Christmas Carol, right? I, I, I'm not thinking that, I'm thinking Blackadder's Christmas Carol. The one thing I'm just not normally thinking of is the regular version of a Christmas Carol. Yeah, uh, just go straight to this. I kind of wish there was music playing outside. It feels so weird when you just suddenly go into complete silence other than a few birds and insects. We'll get to him at another point, eventually. <laughs> there's a few missions you can do. There's a red coin mission there and there's a, uh, a hidden area which I think then takes you, yeah, takes you to a silver star mission, not red coins. Anyway, they've got this funny looking bot. Whoa! And away I go. <laughs> Boing. There's a few of them in the game. You do, you can maneuver yourself a more better than you'd actually think you could. So got these things. Jump on them. Give you a few coins. Again, Big Boost Horn is quite an easy level to get the hundred coin mission in. Just because of how many coins the booze give you. Can't get that one yet. And we can't get one of the other missions yet, but we'll get there. Bouncy, bouncy. What are these things supposed to be? Any spiders? They've only got four legs. In fact, later on they work more like pom skaters. No, wait, that's a different enemy. I guess they're spiders with suction cups for legs. So that we've gone from a Scooby-Doo game to a game where we have a haunted mansion. This is everything's got to have a spooky theme. All right, do all of our usual stuff in here now. Luigi, yeah. hey. what kind of a noise was that? He's like, yeah, hey. Why do I keep coming in here? There is nothing exciting about that room. What in here? I seem to be suffering from memory loss. I, I don't know what I do not know what voice this is either. I apologize. Yeah. What voice it is? It's not Luigi. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. This guy doesn't never seems to detect you if the eye is around the if his pupils around there. And then when he's got a lock on you, just spin around. Try not to hit him. And there you go. Just do that for each and every one of them. Mine. Oh mine. What? <laughs> But we don't have any of your money anymore, Luigi, that you got from your mansion. Because we spent it all on another mansion. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Jump on the killer piano. Pia, pia, piano. No. Deadly piano. Even the chairs don't like Luigi. Poor Luigi. 
By the way, the Toads are complete jerks to Luigi in this game. They're horrible to him. I feel so bad for him. But they're nicer to Wario than they are to Luigi. It's like, what is the deal with these Toads? I mean, they still give me stars, but even so. Where to next? Let's try in here. Since there is a boo here, we know that much. It's surprisingly easy to throw to walk off the edge of those, so be careful. So yeah, the big boost haunt is really not a very exciting level. You're just doing the same things over and over again. Yeah, I got to uh, I got to kill Boos for the first mission. I got to kill Boos for the second mission. I've got to kill a Boo for a later mission. I've got to kill Boos for the hundred coin mission. It's nothing but killing Boos, which is nice and all, since you couldn't kill them in the earlier games. But it's still not very exciting. All right, look at me, buddy. You failed. Those things can hurt you, so watch out. And then our final red coin mission. There was, there is a blue coin switch up in uh, the painting area. I didn't think about going up there. Right, so let's try and find the way out of the house. I don't know why I'm taking the long way. There we go. It's like, past me, where are you going? Alright, you there. He's not even turning around. Okay. <laughs> now he's turning around. So you've also got. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be the shed? The outhouse? What is this? I don't know, but it's flooded. Door. This is a very pointless tunnel. Why would you build it like this? And it takes you to another area of the shed. Unfortunately, we need Wario for this one. Which is annoying. We need Wario to get the, uh, the silver star. That's ever so slightly deep enough to swim in for some reason. Not the silver star, the switch star. Always get those two mixed up. You there. Simple enough. You just sort of have to hope there's enough booze, which there certainly is. And there we go. So I'm jumping. Immediately pick it up, and there we go. That's a hundred coins in Big Boo's Haunt. Ow! You jerk! Sadly, it's only Luigi's Mansion where they give the Boo's names. And suddenly, a Big Boo. Again. Oh, oh no, it's moving again now. Right, this guy's hurt. Lost. They can go through walls, but they can also turn themselves into solid objects. See, so your biggest obstacle really is the flamethrower. Oh, yeah. And there we go, that's our second ghost busting mission done. Alright, 40 coins. And then I accidentally hit save and quit. <laughs> 40 coins, 40 lives. This was a mistake. Okay, so when you're playing 3D Mario games, the first four anyway, uh, if you exit your profile, you lose all of the lives you get. So it will come back to four. Unfortunately, what happened there was that I tried to hit continue, and then because I've only got like that little box open up. What you're seeing here, this is what appears on the TV screen. The exact same thing appears on the gamepad. So it's way smaller. And then I accidentally tapped save and quit. So I got to 40 lives and I'm back to 4 again. 
Right when the game's getting harder, too. You know, generally, I haven't needed to worry about that because the Wii U suspends where you left. You know, it has a suspend point, and it has a uh, save state. I don't really feel like using save states, but you know, it has a save point. So where I exited after the last recording session, you know, all I had to do was just hit the home button, and then it would, when I load the game back up, it would just take me back there. Okay, let's try that again. Only I could fail so spectacularly that I need to cut out in the post commentary. So after uh, going down back to uh, where I got that previous star from, despite the fact that I have already seen the big black block that only Wario can break, so let's actually go and do the right mission now. We cannot finish Big Boo's Haunt for a while, because we, we're not going to unlock Wario for a while. Wario is... we have to defeat Bowser again in order to uh, gain access to Wario, and I could go straight now and do that. But no, I want to do every other course. I don't want to go straight to Bowser again. Yeah. Right, so another big boo. Luckily that's all we have to do here is just this one big boo. Yeah. Even when I'm invisible he still sees me. I mean, I always got the, I the idea that ghosts can see each other. Like they're invisible so they can still see each other. You also see that, like the ghosts can communicate with each other, so yeah. Anyway, this jump's really annoying. Yeah. Firstly, oh, oh. you want to do it in such a way yeah. that you don't slide off yeah. and die oh. <laughs> because you were too low on health. But besides that, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's also just a really bad camera that's way better here than it is in the original because I can actually do this. You have to go against the camera in the original yeah, version of the game in order to do that, and it's an absolute nightmare. Yeah. Uh -huh. I hate this mission in the original version of the game. Luckily, not so much a problem here. So look guys, L is real. You can play as Luigi in Super Mario 64. Just in a different version of the game. I to I in a secret room. It's the last mission we can do for now in Big Boo's Hall. We'll be back. But excluding the one going to the, uh, the Big Boo boss area. So now as a Ouija, I can simply backflip up here. But I do need this. And there we go, no issues whatsoever. That was there. Blue coin switch. Now this guy can't see you, I believe, and so you're visiting in the boo can, but the eye can't. So I have to wait. There we go. Now I have to wait for him to very slowly <laughs> turn around. How does it blink? How does the pupil blink? The pupil that aren't that isn't even on its eye. Well the people with the iris so whatever whatever bit is which. How does it blink? There's no eyelid. Oh yeah. And that's it for now with Big Boo's games. Okay, unfortunately one thing I did forget is uh, how to actually unlock Wario. I now know that he, I can now recall that he is in the room where Snowman's Land is, which means that I need to defeat Bowser again. Yay! But a bit of me was like, now is it in the room where I get the Vanish Cap stuff? And I thought, well, I may as well just do that now anyway, so... Hit the, uh... Hit the two podiums and go and do that, but no! I can't do that either, that requires Wario! Then I was thinking, oh no wait, he's in a secret door in Hazy Maze Cave. No, he's not in there, that takes you to an actual star in Hazy Maze Cave. Okay, he must be in this door in Hazy Maze Cave. No, he's not in there, that just takes you to the Metal Cap thing. And only Wario can use the metal cap. Wario, Wario, Wario. Everything requires Wario. Right. Controls were messing up with me a bit here. 
Come on. There we go. We do have this here. Only now they want to teach you about the ground pound. You do this, and it drains the moat. Why is there even a door here? Most randomly placed door in this entire castle, and that's saying something. But denied! I need Wario again. Uh, everything requires Wario. <laughs> Like Wario is the slowest, he can't jump very well, all he can really do is just punch black blocks. Other than that, I rarely use him. I don't find him that useful. But I guess that's why. Maybe they realise that. It's like, right, we're going to just place these big blocks everywhere that only he can break. And then this is where I then decided, you know what, let's, let's see if he was in Hazy Maze Cave before it came to my uh, knowledge. He's opposite Snowman's Land. So we're not going to be going there for a while. I'm not going to to begin Hazy Maze Cave today. I did go in there and then exited again. But we will be getting one last power star because there are three toads in the castle, which in addition to just giving you standard hints, also give you power stars when you speak to them. So after narrowly avoiding going in there, let's speak to Fungus here. A piece of advice for the hapless Luigi! Even if the caps look the same, the one you have been wearing for years is special! It is said when you lose your cap, your luck runs out too! When you're that unlucky, you shouldn't hit a, you should hit a question mark block! I'm misreading that completely. <laughs> They're all so horrible to Luigi though, like the hapless Luigi. These guys are absolute jerks. Anyway, that concludes it for this part. I'm just going to grab that power star here. Next up, we'll head into Hazy Maze Cave. So I'll see you guys then.